Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today the paper I've chosen is 2023 June 2 1 and here we're going to look into task 4 presentation. Okay, so for that we need PowerPoint to be open. Open a blank presentation. Save your file first inside your work area. Save it inside your work area. Okay, your work area is going to be uh, the folder that has been provided. So it's going to be 2023 June 2 1. Save it with your file name. It's supposed to be, it's going to be center number followed by your candidate number. Save it. Okay, now let's begin. You were going to create a short presentation. All slides must have consistent layout and formatting. Create a presentation of six slides using the file J2321 Scratch. So to import the file, go to New Slide, Slides from Outline, go to the folder where you have your files and find for J2321 Scratch Insert. And if you notice, we have seven slides here because the first slide is an empty slide, delete it so that we'll have six slides. Okay, unless otherwise instructed, the slides must display a title and a bulleted list. Make sure you don't make any changes to the layout of the slide unless you are asked to do so. Use a master slide to display the following features. Okay, let's open a master slide. View tab, slide master, scroll up to the first slide. Okay, here. Automated slide numbers on the top right. Okay, the slide number, the hashtag here is for slide number. Resize it and move it to the top right. Move it to the top right. Okay, and then next, your name, center number, candidate number on the bottom left. Bottom left, you have the date. You don't need the date there. The footer, you resize it and move it to the bottom left. Okay, now we'll insert the slide number and footer. Go to insert tab, header and footer, check slide number and footer and type in your name, center number, followed by your candidate number and click apply to all. Okay, so here the slide number doesn't appear because it's gonna be changed from slide to slide, whereas your candidate details <coughs> doesn't change. Now next, a three to four point wide horizontal line about three centimeter from the bottom of the slide. So let's add a line. Shapes, go to insert, shapes, choose a line, pick a line. It's three centimeter from the bottom. So from here to here is one, two, three. Okay, you can use the rulers on the left to measure approximately three centimeter. So draw a line across the width of the slide. Make sure it is a straight line. Okay, and then they say it has to be three to four point wide. Okay, so change the shape outline weight choose three point okay if they ask you to change the color it is here okay you can change it if you want okay but make sure it is anyway your printouts are going to be black and white so choose it to be a black color okay and make sure the line is above your details it has to be above your candidate details okay make sure that okay that's it on the master slide so let's check Close master view. Slide master, close master view. So all the slides should have the slide number, line above your details and below the line, your candidate details. Okay, should not overlap any on any of the slides. Format the first slide so that the title slide layout is applied with no bullets. So the first slide, you right click on it, layout, set it to be a title slide with no bullets so that the title and the subtitle comes to the center of the slide. Yeah, it's in the center and the middle of the slide. Now next, using the data in the file J2321 winners, let's open the file J2321 winners. 
open the file. So using this, you're supposed to create a pie chart to compare the number of race wins by each group. So let's highlight, let's highlight the data. So it's from A3 to B7. Okay, highlight, insert recommended charts. They have asked us to create a pie chart. Choose a pie chart. You have the chart there. Label the chart with the title percentage wins by group. So percentage wins by group. Okay, next format the chart to display only the group names and percentage as sector labels. Okay, click on chart elements, move the cursor to data labels, click on the arrow next to data labels, go to more options. So here we don't need the value, but we need the category name and then we need the percentage. Okay, we've got the percentage there. Next, position these labels outside each chart. So label position, choose it to be outside end. And then percentage value to one decimal place. So click on number here at the bottom. Category, set it to be percentage and decimal place, change it to one. Okay, so we are done with that. Next, do not display a legend. Click on chart elements again, untick a legend. Okay, next, emphasize the group with the largest percentage by pulling only the sect this sector away from the other groups. So the largest sector should be pulled away from the other sectors. So it is scratch fastest. So click on that and make sure only that sector is highlighted and pull it away. Click and drag so it stands away from the other sectors. Next, place this chart. So copy the chart, go to your PowerPoint. You're supposed to place this chart to the right of the bullets on the slide with the title Scratch Group Cyclist. So Scratch Group Cyclist is here. It has to be on the right. So move the content to the left and paste the chart here on the right. Okay. Enlarge the chart so that it's clearly visible. Okay. And then next, make sure no words are split. You'll have to check all of these work okay should not have any split or it should not overlap with any of the contents or any of the items now next add the following text as a presenter speaker notes to the slide with the title scratch group cyclist so to add notes you go to view tab you have notes here you're supposed to add it in the same slide okay scratch group cyclist place the uh, make sure that particular slide is chosen go to view tab you have the notes icon click on notes you have an option here at the bottom to add notes click there and type in the notes race winner okay type in race winner analysis there you have it hyphen 38 Races completed in 2022. Sorry, 2022. So that's how you add a notes. Now, next, print only this slide as presenter notes in portrait orientation. So, this slide six you'll have to print. File, print, make sure it is current slide you choose or you type in the slide number slide six okay you either choose slide number or you choose current slide both are going to be the same and then change the layout of the printout to notes page okay the layout has to be notes page so that it's in the portrait view with the notes printed choose the correct printer and click print okay that's one printout Next, 
on the slide with the title handicaps okay handicaps is here slide four format the text raise director so that when clicked it opens an email editor ready to send a message okay highlight the text raise editor you want to create a hyperlink here right click create a link okay create a link and here you're going to create an email address so choose the email address and type in the email address it is going to be rd at cambridge org and then the subject with the subject line raise handicaps okay raise handicaps okay and then place in your evidence document and screenshot showing the linked text email address and the subject so you will have to show all of these as a screenshot take a screenshot okay click ok and paste this in your evidence so it has to show the uh, it has to show the linked text that is race director email address and the subject okay so that's the evidence save your evidence come back to PowerPoint so we are done with that step save your presentation save your file and then print the full presentation as handouts in the portrait orientation with two slides to the page each filling half the page so you'll have to print all the slides okay the full presentation file print choose all slides print all slides and the layout of the printout choose two slides okay two slides and you have it there then choose a correct printer and print okay and then finally you will have to print your evidence once done you will have to save your evidence and print file print okay before printing make sure there are no widows or orphans yeah yeah save your file file print choose the correct printer and print okay i hope that was clear see you guys in the next video this is the end of this task thank you bye bye